Hi, I'm Myra Bells and welcome back to my journey to reach Town Rank S in Coral Island. I need to do some early fishing today in order to catch koi. I'll also aim to get some cobia at the Town Dock Ocean, but I'll start fishing at the Temple Lake first for the koi. I am going to leave my farm chores for later today since I might not have enough time for everything. Thankfully, the stone pads are back. <laughs> And my wooden pads are not gone. Let's fish here at the lake temple first. Oh, I just noticed there's a statue of uh, Chieftain. Yeah, there's a statue of Chieftain right here. And I caught a koi on the first try. Okay, let's aim for another one so that I can get one for the museum as well. I thought that the lanterns were only present during a festival. I've been catching a variety of fish. <laughs> Just not another koi. I did not notice that I ran out of fish baits. I'll make some small fish baits. I would have preferred a medium one, but I don't have any insects right now. Since this is my second year, I really want to catch all of the fish, critters, and insects during spring because I might have to wait until third year spring again for this. Maybe I should switch locations. Let's fish right beside this flamingo. Be my good luck charm. It's already 12 p.m. Maybe I should have just placed the koi inside one of my fish ponds. I need to add more fish ponds too. Okay, I give up on the koi for now. Let's go back home. The carpenters are open today, so maybe I'll just make another fish pond. I've gotten all the materials, so let's head on over to the carpenter shop. Maybe I can fast travel somewhere. Hmm, over here at the hillside? Is that closer? Wait, it is. It is close. Okay, that's good. I need another fish pond. Thank you. Wait, I don't have any gold kelp essence? What? I was pretty sure I grabbed some. Well, it's a good thing I have fast travel now. Oh yeah, it got left over here. I don't know if I can make two buildings at once, but I also want to build a, another storage shed. So I'm just going to bring some gold bars with me as well. Let's prioritize the fish pond first. I'm going to place it right here in the middle of this too. And then let's ask Dinda if she will make another building for us. Oh, yes. Okay. I want another shed. And I'm going to place this one right here. Wait a minute. I need one for over here, and then I'll need one for around here somewhere, but still have some space. Okay, over here should be perfect. Well, we still have some money. Might as well add another fish pond. I was planning on filling this up with- wait, I wanted an insect house, not another fish pond. Maybe three fish ponds is enough? Yeah, let's go home first. I might need my money for something else. I will have to remove the swordfish here and place the koi instead. I think I just wanted the swordfish to sell. So let's see how much it actually sells for. Then I can sell the rest of the fish that I caught earlier today. I'm going to keep another swordfish right here. Just so I can place it inside the fish pond once the other one is finished. Okay, finally time for my chores, I think. There are a couple of things that I can harvest, like carrots. Hmm, what else? More sugar canes. This one also. Soybeans. Okay. And chard. I've gotten some seeds back, but I know it's not enough. Let's also harvest these trees. Durian and the orange. I know I need durian for something. Yep, definitely. I need that for the temple. I'm just gonna chop these trees down because originally I planned this to be the one for my tappers, but I already have some. Wait, do you want a pet dipstick? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore dipstick. I got more osmium quality harvest, so let's place it here on my chest. How many do I have right now? Around 24. Still a long way to go, but at least it's a start. I need to buy more seeds to plant. 
I'm going to plant the carrots first and the chard. Yep. I'm gonna turn the rest of my durian into jam before selling it. Orange jam sounds good as well. For the chard, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm just gonna make it into a juice. I'm not sure if it's appetizing. <laughs> I don't know what chard is actually. Oh well, I'm just gonna process everything. Oh, I'm making tempeh using the soybeans. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh wow, the sun has come down. I'm not used to doing my chores so late. <laughs> I wasn't able to let my animals out. Yeah, that's I guess one downside of doing this so late. At least they have their auto feeders and auto petters. The pig is not gonna give me any truffles at this rate though. The chon! <laughs> Go find some truffles. I forgot that I can now craft the aging barrels. Good thing I've been saving up resin for it. Let's craft... Hmm... Two more? It takes up a lot of hardwood. I'm gonna craft two more for now. Yeah, I don't know where to put it. I'm just gonna place it here temporarily. <laughs> I laugh because I, I don't know if that's temporary only. Or if it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> I think I need another compost bean as well. I'm going through my compost faster than I thought. Since I only have a little bit of time left, I'm gonna use this to redecorate my stone pads. I've been thinking of doing this for a while now, but they haven't been appearing. So thankfully, they're here right now and we can do this. <gasps> I accidentally- oh my god, I accidentally destroyed one of my crops. What are these? The strawberries! No! Oh well. I have to make more wooden pads for this. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make the inner ones into a wooden path and then keep the stone pads on the outer part. I'm not yet sure where I want to put the, the fences. Do I want to put it on the stone path itself or outside of it? Oh, I cannot forget to put this back. <laughs> I already destroyed one of my crops by accident. I'm going to do the same thing over here, but it's already 11.20. So let's just get some sleep and see how much we earned from all the stuff that we sold today. I earned 15,000 only? Cane Nagtar only sells for 86, 63 to 86. Uh, okay, makes sense since it produces one each day. <laughs> charred juice sells more than pickled chard. Well, let's see if I can remember that. Then for fishing, the swordfish sells for 420. Yeah, that's not bad. We have a mail this morning. Dear Myra, we're gathering at the lake tomorrow to celebrate the start of spring. There's a potluck cookout at the festival, so make sure to bring something yummy. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Oh yeah, the spring cherry blossom festival. I wonder what I'm gonna place in the potluck this time. Also, since this one produces something per day, I really want to put another auto harvester over here. I know it will use up my resources for such a small plot of land, but it's going to be really convenient. Just an auto harvest should be enough. Let's let the animals out first before we go fishing again. There's another fish that can be caught early in the morning at the town dock. So I'm gonna go there to fish today. I've already caught the koi. I just need to wait for it to have more koi in the fish pond. I forgot what's the name of the fish that I'm aiming to catch here. I'm sure I'll know once I caught it. I should have collected insects first in order to make medium fish bait though. Okay, it's noon time again and I didn't catch that new fish that I've been wanting to catch here. Have I been fishing on the wrong location? Maybe I should have fished more towards uh, Zara's boat. Uh, I'll, I'll try that tomorrow. But that's enough fishing for- Hi, Mark. That's enough fishing for now. The festival tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there. This job at the animal shelter doesn't pay much. Oh, I can ask him out on a date. Yeah. Maybe I should get to know him a little bit better. We can hang out with the animals and stuff. Yes, let's volunteer at the shelter, Mark. 
Sure, I could use a break. Oh, he seems really excited about this one. He's chatty and friendly. The key to Mark's heart. <laughs> that was surprisingly not terrible. Guess you're good company after all, Myra. Just kidding, it was actually fun. Thanks. <laughs> he called me by my first name, not Garden Rake. I'm Myra now. I'm improving. Also, there's a cutscene. I can trigger cutscenes by going on dates? Wow. Hello, Myra. Taking care of town business too? I got here not too long ago. The mayor should be here soon. I promised him I'd take a look at the broken HVAC union. Hi, Joko. Hi there, Myra. Thanks for meeting me here, by the way. I know you're a busy man, Joko, so I'll keep it short. I have no idea what happened. Last week, I received a complaint from Leia about the HVAC not working. Maybe a wiring issue or a blown fuse? I don't know what to do. Please bill me for your time, Joko. I'll sort it out right away. Oh no, that's alright. It won't cost me anything. Please, it's the least I can do to contribute to the town. Well, if you insist, I'll be sure to let everyone know at our next town meeting. After all, a good deed should never go unrecognized. Enough small talk. Shall we get to work? I think I might know what's wrong. A similar thing happened to my brother's HVAC unit years ago. Let's check the electrical panel first. Sure, it's just outside, beside the recycling center. This way. Here it is. Am I gonna be able to use the recycling center now? Hmm, let's see here. Wow, was I expected, Mayor? We've got a couple of blown fuses. Looks like a short cost by old wires. This may take longer than I thought. Ah, uh, that's very unfortunate. We need the HVAC running as soon as possible. Humid air from the recent rainfall could damage the books in my office and the library. Mara, could you give me a hand? With your help, this job can be done sooner. I don't know anything about electrical panels. <laughs> don't worry, it's simple. I'll guide you along. You just need to reconnect the wires. Okay. <laughs> this seems very safe without any tool. <laughs> no... Personal protective equipment. A few minutes later. Okay, I'm still alive. There, that should do it. You handled it pretty well, Myra. Is it done already? Amazing, I know I can always count on both of you. Big thanks to Myra for helping out. I really appreciate it. Alright, let's head back to the community center and turn on the HVAC right away. Oh, I thought it's gonna be a cutscene about the recycling thing there. Oh well. Well, since I'm already here, might as well shop using my points. I don't have a lot. I only have 724. Hmm. Maybe I should go with Diving Mastery so I can get all of it. Yeah, I'll probably go with that. Diving Elixir. Wait, where did it go? Huh? Okay, did I misunderstood the Elixir things? I thought that if I drank it, it will increase the available skill points and I would be able to get everything. It seems not. Okay, I misunderstood that completely and I wasted 500 merit points. Oh well, and I look funny holding this fish while renting. Anyway, I have to get back to my farm because I haven't really done any chores. Wait, cane nectar boosts speed okay that's good i'm going to keep some for myself then sugar rush <laughs> yeah there we go i'm getting some truffles wait the white truffle lechon gave me white truffle nice oh i already offered it but <laughs> i got large feather i thought that that was the first time i got a white truffle from lechon I, I'm so sorry for doubting you, Lechon. I need to turn this into truffle oil. I'm not sure if I need the black truffle for that or the white truffle, but I'm gonna try with the white truffle. Make white truffle oil. Okay. Let's see if we can donate that. And our koi is still not propagating. The same with our monkfish. I'd have to wait a few more days for that, I guess. I do need to offer the large feather to the temple. Then I still have a little bit of time, so let's edit this other area as well. And be careful not to destroy one of our crops this time, please. 
Oh, I need to move my trees. There's not enough space over here. I think. Let's deal with that later. For now, let's add more wood floor tiles. I need to chop down trees soon. My axe is still silver quality though. What the heck? I need to upgrade that one. I just want to start laying down more paths so that I have a gist of the overall layout that I want for my farm. I definitely need lots of wood for this. Can I just buy wood? Or the floor tiles itself? Okay, I ran out of pets again. Can I chop down some trees before going to bed? Because tomorrow I plan to leave my axe over at the blacksmith if they are open. Blacksmith should be open on Wednesday, yes. Okay. But let's chop down some trees first. I was able to gather 109. Okay, that's good. 100 in one hour. Not too bad. Oh, I forgot to bring back the scarecrows. Hold on, before I sleep. There we go. Tempest sold for 74 each. So almost the same as the cane nectars, yeah. Oh, today is the festival. I cannot really go to Pablo? Oh no. I could definitely buy wood. It's 10 each. I'm not that rich yet though. I do need the calendar for my home and I do need some seeds. I'm just going to plant some cauliflowers so I don't need to harvest it that often. Okay, let's plant our cauliflower seeds first and do our farm chores before we go to the festival. Oh, I'm able to harvest my cucumbers now too. I think I've been ignoring this. <laughs> my sprinkler attachments, but it's okay. They're just auto-harvesting my sugarcane for me, which is really nice. I won't always get the harvest from that. I'll just keep them. Then I think I need to resupply my honey farm. It's always a good day when I'm able to harvest some honey because... I'll get lots of income. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the calendar inside the house. Hold on. Where do I want the calendar? Can I place it over here? That would be great. No, I can't. Ah, oh, that's sad. Okay, let's place it beside my bed then. My house looks so... bare. <laughs> okay, I have two kois now. And I also have two monkfish. And I have an empty fish pond where I can place another fish. And I have my white truffle oil. Let's see. I do need this for the altar. So for the altar, I can donate the white truffle oil and the koi. I'm not going there yet though because there's still a lot to do. Wait a minute. I cannot enter my storage house. What? Is this a bug? Oh. I needed to remove the floor tile there. Okay. That is a bit annoying, huh? Once I get better harvest, I think I'm gonna stop processing sugar canes because it doesn't really earn a lot. Oh, and this has finished processing the gold kelp essence, so we can now turn this into another duplicator for osmium ones. How many osmium do I have? I only have 19 right now. I need 30 for that. I should remember to drink cane nectar. Actually, I can also eat chocolate chip muffins for the movement speed. And I eat pumpkin pie. Out of everything, I accidentally ate pumpkin pie. What the heck? <laughs> I had two choices. Oh my god. I want to go to the festival now, but I just realized that I haven't been to my greenhouse in quite a while. Let's see, I have some tomatoes here. Maybe this is the one that I should put inside the soup? What should I put inside the soup? I don't have anything prepared for it. Also, sadly, the sprinklers does not automatically harvest from the fruit trees. Or the fruit saplings. I, I keep forgetting which is which. Anyway, I think tomato is a safe bet to put there, right? What other food items do I have? I have some fish tacos. <laughs> put some fish tacos in the soup. What could happen, right? I mean, tomato is a safe bet. I'll just put tomato. Last year, I kind of ruined the potluck, so I don't really want to ruin it right now. Hopefully, I won't. 
Let's start the Cherry Blossom Festival. This time, I'm not gonna ruin the potluck for everyone. Trust me on that. I just wanna see if the NPCs will say something different. Hmm, I think it's basically the same. Oh, yeah, I think it is. So I don't need to do that anymore. How about Balap Karung? Oh, I can still get first place again. That's good. I forgot to bring food to increase my stamina again, but it's okay. I feel like I should be able to win this time. Yeah, I have way more stamina now, so I don't really need to rest all that much. Which is good. Hopefully, I'll win this time. On the first try. I forgot if I won during my first year. It's either I did after multiple tries or I gave up because Archie was just too fast. That's round two? Round three. Did Surya... <laughs> Surya is just falling repeatedly at the start. That distracted me a lot. <laughs> Surya... Is this the last round? Yes, it is the final round. Okay. So it is easier to win this mini game when you have more stamina. So for this festival, I only have the potluck, the store, and the sack race. So let's look at the store first. Yeah, I wanted to buy this before. I mean, it screams spring, right? I should buy it. I bought it. <laughs> I thought there would be like a question like are you sure but apparently there's not oh well let's change our outfit oh my god this is so pretty there we go I'm so ready for spring I don't think the backpack goes with it though so let's just stay like this I'm not used to my character being so pink in video games I think it's cute though okay let's add something to the padlock I'm gonna place a tomato this time around. It's a it's a safe item for a soup, okay? Let's start the main event now. Folks, it's finally time for our main event. The soup is now ready. Big thanks for all your contributions. Miss Ross, would you do us the honor of tasting it? Of course. Thank you, Mayor Connor. This soup will reflect the unity of the town. It's time to taste what all of you together have made today. Delicious! This soup certainly tastes good. The local products are great and they complement each other. Well done. Okay, I would have been so sad if the potluck was bad. I could also put mushrooms next time or like vegetables. Alright, we did great for that festival. We still have some time left. Let's spend it chopping down more trees. I don't know how fast trees regenerate here in Coral Island. I never paid much attention to it because I never really needed more wood than what I have. Hopefully not too long though. I know the hardwood replenishes every day. So hopefully these trees regenerate through the night magically as well. I am healing the island, the goddess will do its part. I was able to gather 223 from over here. That's not bad. I should start crafting some fences now, just so I can see what it looks like. Okay, I'll end up using everything that I chopped down today. <laughs> Let's go make 109 for now, and then I'll make a wooden arch. So I'm thinking of uh, placing the fence over here. Oops, not fishing. Fence. <laughs> oh, I cannot place it on top of bats. So I really need to place it like this. Hmm... My problem with this is that uh, there's not going to be a lot of space over here. Also, what the heck? I, I cannot place it over there, but I can... What? Oh, I can. That that was so weird. Okay. <laughs> now I have to remove all of this. And it's 12 a.m. Wow. I'm just going to place a few more fences before sleeping. Just because I want to see how... It will be restricting my movement when it comes to harvesting my crops and such. Will it be too restrictive for me? Not really, because I can move through my lots. Oh, only for this one then. Only for this one, it will be hard. 
I could always put an attachment on the sprinkler so that it auto harvests. Yeah, that should do it. Also, it's 1 a.m. Let's go to sleep. I got 140 merit from the festival. I need a whole lot more though. Oh my god! I unlocked new craftables, hedge fence, and hedge gate. These are so much better than the ones that I just put. But I might be able to use it on some other part of my farm, so it's okay. I earned 13,000 today. What do I need to craft this? Fiber. Ah, oh, okay. I need to remove the makeshift chest. <laughs> well, it's gonna stay there until I am able to complete the quest for osmium crop quality. I mean, placing it there will surely make me remember it, right? I'll just finish fencing off this area. And I guess my strawberries got harvested. Nice. I can start processing those inside my kegs or mason jars. I'm not sure which one should process that. So it's gonna look like this. I might place another arch over here so I can easily access my bee houses after. But I need to move the bee house over there. Okay, that's enough decoration for today. I'm trying to decorate little by little so it doesn't take too much time. But also, I don't want to keep my farm looking like this for too long. I got 23 osmium quality strawberries. I kind of want to keep it though for money instead of giving it for the Stardot Expedition. But I'm not sure. I got 15 more over here. I got 38 now. I might be able to complete the needed crops for that let's see okay let's place them all in my backpack for now yeah that's more than enough what about without the strawberries oh i do need to donate the strawberries as well okay let's place it all over here for now since we still don't have enough osmium essence anyways i'm also going to keep my former outfit and the harvest basket here for safekeeping for now. Okay, so I need to wait for my kegs to finish processing the cane nectars before I can start processing my strawberries. But I'm gonna keep them all here for now. Oh, I also need the sugar cane for the Stardust Expedition one. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> I only need 11 osmium kelp essence. I think I should have enough once this finished processing, but th that's going to be a long wait. Hmm. Maybe I should go down the ocean again, just to gather more. I keep forgetting to eat cane nectar for my movement speed. I think I should go to Pablo right now, while I'm still remembering to, since I need to upgrade my silver axe to gold, and I need to open up my coffers and geodes. I need to let the animals out though. Now that they're out, let's go to Pablo and maybe the temple as well. There's still lots to donate there. I'll go to the temple and the museum first to clear up my inventory. For the fruit plant, I can give the durian and I only need one more for this. Hopefully I have any of this planted inside my greenhouse. I'm not sure. For the fresh water fish, it's already finished. Nice. I only need the rare fish now. I don't know when those fish are available. Oh, another cutscene with the goddess. I've completed enough offerings, I guess. And look at this, it's so colorful now. This area is looking prettier and prettier. Hello again, goddess. Forgive me, dear Myra, for such a grand entrance. It has been too long since I've had the strength to indulge in such a displays. <laughs> I feel reborn, all thanks to your efforts in restoring this island to its former grandeur. And what's this? There's a bridge. Okay, wow. That is a nice looking bridge, but it's still blocked by this rock over here. I don't know how to remove that, but wow, okay. <laughs> it even has a waterfall. Behold, the return of a bridge long forgotten. Born from an ancient tree, it connects two worlds. This bridge leads to the savanna, a land both wild and wondrous. <gasps> I've unlocked the savannah! Tread with caution, for its beauty is matched by the challenges that lurk within. Oh boy, I don't think I'm ready for that though. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> I am so happy though. Let's finish donating our items. Next is the large feather. 
Then for a rare artisan, I can donate the white truffle oil. That's another altar completed. It looks like I don't need aged truffle oil. Yeah, I don't need to. Okay, that's good. I got another aging barrel for that. I completed two more offerings. So let's check my town rack. Oh, I'm still so far. <laughs> 281 out of 866. Okay, then. I'll get to work. I'm going to donate the frog fish and the monk fish. Now let's go back to Pablo to open up our coffers and geodes. I'm not sure if I'm still getting anything new from all of these geodes. Oh, by the way, Pablo, can you also upgrade my axe farming? Thank you very much. Oh no, I forgot to bring hardwood. I'm still not used to that mechanic, huh? And sadly, I did not get a single artifact or gem that I can donate to the museum. I've already donated all of this. And since my chest is full, I think it's time to donate or to sell some of these items. Yeah, I'm gonna start selling it. Somehow I don't feel very comfortable doing this, but oh well. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I can upgrade my axe now. Thank you. I also brought my fossils with me, so let's process those all. Hopefully this time I got something new. I think I have enough money for some of the automation items. I could get auto collector, but I could also get automation chest. Automation chest is really, really great. It does use up osmium kelp and lots of scrap, but I think unlocking this is very helpful. Yeah, I think I'll get that. Thankfully, I got some new items to donate to the museum from opening up the fossils. Also, I have a new aging barrel, which will be right here. Then let's get osmium kelp, batteries, lots of scrap, and osmium bar. This is a good investment, right? It is. It's automation. We like automation. Uh-huh. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in order to craft more of those, what do we need? Osmium kelp and osmium bar. I have osmium bar, but I don't have osmium kelp. I don't have a lot, I mean. So for my first automation chest, I want to place it for my slime of replication. Place the items you'd like auto-processed into the auto chest. Then we can position the machines. Yeah, okay, I've seen some videos about it and... Well, hopefully I know what to do. I wonder if I'll be able to get the osmium kelp essence inside if I chop it down. Will I be able to get it or not? Okay, it seems stupid to try it out, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna place it right here. That way it can just automatically process those back and forth. And then I'll be able to collect osmium kelp essence. If I'm wrong, then I'll just experiment again. It's fine. <laughs> Let's start making some strawberry juice. I'm also going to make some strawberry gems and then we can see which one is more profitable before I process even more because I have a lot. I also have another storage house ready just in case I want to place all the automated items there. I really need to finish this one. So let's get some osmium. I haven't been down here in a while, so I hope there's a lot. I have 122 osmium kelps right now, but my inventory is full. Also, I think I've been through most of the areas nearby, so let's go home for now. Okay, it's gonna take a while before I can process all of those because I don't have a lot of extractors, but I should be able to complete everything for the quest soon enough. Oh... Well, the difference between the strawberry jam and the strawberry juice is that the jam is quicker to process. So if I want more money right now, I should just process it all using mason jars, not kegs. Well, strawberries will regrow, so I will just process it all right now. That way my processing machines are all gonna stay busy. Oh, it's 1am. Oh no. Wow, I earned 21,000 today. Oh, that's because I am able to sell most of my fermented goat cheese wheels. Strawberry jam is 281 inch. That's not bad at all. 
I also sold some artifacts and fossils that amounted to 2300 Okay. That's why I had lots of profit. Oh, well, I can still harvest the peas even if I cannot walk through there by just using my scythe. That's good. I can make lots of auto chests now. Should I use everything for this? No, I'm gonna wait until I have enough osmium kelp for it. Wait, how can I get it if I'm saving up for the quest? Hmm. You know what? I'm really interested in what will happen if I do this. Oh, I cannot move it. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. What if I put an engineer's table, architect's desk inside? Oh yeah, I tried it before and I cannot place it inside. Okay, I have to save up my osmium kelp in order to make osmium kelp essence. So I will not be able to make a lot of auto conveyor belts for now. I want to though, look at this, the amount of items that I can process now, it's just a lot. I also need to make more mason jars perhaps? Mason jars is glass. Oh, it would be nice to do that for my recycling machines. Recycling machines and this ones. I need glass and scrap. So I just need to wait until this finished processing and then I can turn them into something with conveyor belts. I'm just gonna make a few. I'm not gonna sacrifice all of my conveyor belts or all of my osmium kelp for conveyor belts, but I will craft like five of them and place it over here. Okay, I don't have enough osmium bars anyways. <laughs> I crafted five for now. So I should just line it up, right? Yep, okay. Okay, I think this will work. Then I'll just put the items for processing over here and then the machines sh should be around here. I'm going to take care of my other chores first since I'm still waiting for the machines that I need to finish processing. Okay, everything has finished processing. Let's uh, take this. What else? The kiln. And I guess the compost bean since it uses trash as well. So I'm gonna take all my trash. Then let's place the recycling machine over here. And the compost beans over here. Oh, I think the problem with putting a kiln over here is that it will process all of the scrap into glass. It won't leave anything. I might not want that. <laughs> So let's process the trash for now over here. And then it will turn into scrap and compost. And then it won't get processed into glass anymore. Maybe I should put one over here and then just put stone so I can get some glass as well. And then I'll place one over here just in case I want to turn them into glass. I'll just place it on the other storage house actually. I'll bring it back here. <laughs> Then I'm gonna need the stone for that area as well. 360? Yeah, should be enough for now. I'm wondering if this will take the scrap as well. Because I'm seeing scrap being put inside of this one. Oh yeah, it does take it. So it will still process them into glass. Oh, we don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna remove this from the system. I think that solves it. Well, hopefully. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. I'm just testing things out. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Okay. Then I have another one of this. Where, where should I put this? Hmm. Let's remove this over here. Remove items from chest. Oh, okay. Okay, let's remove this one. And then I'm going to start building more kegs or mason jars. And maybe I'll process this one somewhere else. Can I age a jam? Okay, no. Can I age a juice? Juice can be turned into strawberry wine. So I need more kegs and then aging barrels. So I can process this into juice and then wine. Oh, I think I can only have up to two rows here, sadly. I am going to craft kegs. Let's craft three kegs. And then I can craft... Aging barrel. Oh, just one. I ran out of osmium bar and hardwood. 
oh well i'm gonna place the kegs like this and then the aging barrel on one side so over here hopefully this works i have no idea how but yeah let's just wait and see also i'm gonna remove this i don't need it here anymore I'm just turning my trash into scrap and compost. I don't know which one I need more. Maybe I should just put one compost there. I'll see what the ratio will be for that. Since the auto chests take up a lot of osmium bar, let's go mining for osmium. Since I'm down here, I might as well gather some slime goops as well. This trip just reminded me that my pickaxe is still gold and not osmium. <laughs> I think I need my tools on osmium quality before I go to the savannas because I think from the trailer I saw that there's another mine down there and it should be tougher than this one, right? One thing that annoys me about batwings is that after you've donated it to the lake temple, there's no other use for it. Or maybe I'm not just seeing it yet. Maybe there's a recipe that uses batwing. It's just an item that's so hard to get. And if it's just for the lake temple, then yeah, kind of ticks me off. Oh, there's a giant slime over here. I saw from a video that you just need to aggro this one and they will start producing more slimes. And this should give you a lot of slime goops. And I think that's pretty smart. I do need to defeat the other enemies though. Otherwise, I'll be swamped with other enemies. <laughs> so let's just keep the slimes coming and destroy all the other enemies for now. Can I switch them to land aggro mode? Because like, chill. I'll eat this food. It will increase my defense, so maybe even if the slime will attack me or something, it won't hurt me that much. Actually, this is not hurting me at all. Like, look at this. What the heck? <laughs> this this is a hack. Oh my god. Okay, go slimes, go. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Stretch a little bit. I'm gonna start killing the slimes by 10.30 maybe? I feel bad for them though. They're trying so hard. <laughs> okay, it's 10.30. I'm, I've been having fun, but... Oh man... I cannot pass up on this opportunity. I mean, I'm getting lots of slime goops. Look. <laughs> this is good. But it's 11. Oh, I'm pushing it a little bit too much. Okay, last 10 minutes. 11 10, 11 20. Okay, goodbye, everyone. I hope you show up again. I wonder how many slime goops I got there. I got 8. I mean,. It's not that good, but uh, I can now craft at least one more, I think. No, not yet. Okay, I still need three. Oh, well. I also got 39 osmium ores this trip. I would have preferred more, too. Wait, I only earned 8,000 today? Wow, that's low. My gold axe is now complete. Also, I've been neglecting my morning fishing. I'm so close to getting 13 osmium kelp essence. Also, look at this. My mason jars can now be harvested. Maybe I should place them on the other room. Wait, I don't have enough conveyor belts for that just yet. Never mind then. So, soybeans turn into tempe. I wonder what beans turn into. Pickled peas. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's peas, not beans. My bad. I'm gonna keep some strawberry juice so I can turn them into wine. Not all though. Then I need more osmium bars. Surprisingly, I have 100 plus osmium ores inside my inventory. I just haven't turned them into bars, I guess. Let's check my processing machines. Okay, so there are strawberries over here. And over here... Oh, okay. So these ones are connected, so it's the same. So the strawberries got placed inside the aging barrel. That's good. Then for this one, I have 49 compost and 63 scraps. I guess these are processing faster, which is good. Then I need one more koi for the museum and... Wait, I accidentally got both of them. 
for the monkfish, I'll just stay here and let it propagate. And I have another fish that I wanted to do that with. The swordfish. I'll place it inside the other fish pond. I'm gonna go back down the ocean to gather more osmium kelp and the osmium ores at the mines if I can. Oh, I almost forgot about the animals though. <laughs> the good thing I remembered. Oh, okay, wait. Before I go down the ocean, I, I just said I forgot about my morning fishing. Let's look at the fish again. If I can catch anything new at noon, I can catch clownfish here at the town dock. For the temple, I still haven't donated the koi, but I have it now, so it's good. I need to catch cobia and clownfish here at the town dock ocean, though. If I recall correctly, I got some baits. Large baits. Where did I place it? Wow, I lost it. What the heck? <laughs> I was pretty sure I was awarded with some baits or I did not claim it. Huh. Either way, before I go fishing, I might as well collect some insects so I can have something to process there into baits. Okay, I got some insects. Let's turn it all into medium fish bait. Then I'm gonna fish here beside Zara's boat. Hopefully I'll get those fish. One is only available until 4 p.m. I got a clownfish! Okay, I needed this. That took so long. I only need one, so I'll just get out of here. I still need one more fish here, but it cannot be caught right now. It's only up to 4 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and donate all of this first. The clownfish, koi, galimaimu steel, velociraptor claw, and tyrannosaurus call. Then I'm gonna check if there are any other fish I can catch right now. It looks like I can also catch the cobia over here at the estuary. Maybe I should try that instead of the town dock ocean ne next time. It looks like it's the only fish that I haven't caught during a sunny spring day. For the insects, I only need the little wood satyr butterfly. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to the things that I caught using the insect traps there. I might have used it accidentally for a bait. I don't know, but it's only up till 6 p.m. So I doubt that I'll be able to get some. And I'll just go to the ocean now. Wait a minute. Can I also check the critters? For diving. Oh, I can also check. Okay. Lima Pulu, I've got everything. Empat Pulu. I still need the chambered Nautilus, but it's only up to 6 p.m. Se Pulu. Oh, there's a couple of items that I can only get during 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Also over here at Duapulu. So at the bronze areas, silver area, and gold area, I need to catch something. For now though, I'll just take whatever osmium ore I can get. It's 6 p.m. but I should be able to get some. Oh, there's another one. There's another giant slime. Okay, I cannot, I cannot pass up this opportunity. There's another one! Okay, there's two giant slimes. Okay, come here, come here. Make some babies. Oh, the other one is hurting me though. I can just continuously eat food, right? <laughs> I think the red slime is hurting me. Okay, I might try and kill the red slime first. Are the other ones also hurting me? Oh, they are also. Well, I can stay here for a while. Well, I can stay here for a bit more. See how much damage I can take before I can. I need to start killing them. Maybe halfway through? I don't really have to wait until a certain time. I can start killing the small slimes. As long as I don't kill the big ones. Doing this with two giant slimes is way more efficient. This is so nice. I ran out of pumpkin pies. I was using it for defense. That's why I was not hurt before but I, I ran out of it so now i'm getting some damage it's not that big of a damage though i don't think so i only got three slime goops so far it's bad but i now have enough for another replicator oh i also have a ring or something that regenerates my health that's why i'm still full health right now yeah i'm gonna spend more time here and just like that, it's 11 p.m. I got 9 slime goops for this trip. I wonder how many osmium ores I got though. Okay. 
we need to gather the three osmium ores that I'm seeing right now. So bye bye, slimes. Thank you for the help. And I got a total of 43 from this trip. I can now craft another slime of replication. Not sure what I'm gonna place in this one though. Maybe osmium ore since I seem to be needing a lot. Or osmium bars right away. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this osmium bars over here. I earned 22,000. Okay, I'm back to earning this much in a day. That's good. Oh, it's raining today. And my snowdrops are ready for harvest. I have more to process on my bee houses now. I need 40 new seeds. I'm gonna buy cauliflowers. I didn't notice I had mail. Oh. <laughs> it's my order. Never mind. I haven't heard from my parents or grandma in a while. Oh. Okay, I have 30 osmium kelp essence. Okay, we can finish that quest today. I didn't notice I was that close. Now it's time to go to the oracle's chamber. Wow, that was fast. Cho Ayu is impressed by her friend's efficiency. Her friends now, are we? <laughs> Very close ones, according to my visions. Shall we start brewing the potion for legs now? So the two of them are gonna be my companions, along with the princess. That soup doesn't look so bad. It seems to have a foul smell though. Oh, this one has the scent of sulfur springs. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. It's nearly complete. A little more stirring and it should be ready. I can't believe we actually have to drink this. How exciting. Let's start prepping, Denali and Samaru. Yes, your royal highness. Myra, take a look at this parchment from mother and father. It outlines our approved time on land and where we'll meet for our first expedition to the surface. We'll see you there when it's time. Okay, you may go. Wait, the expedition date is spring 8 to 14? It's... It's 14! No. That's... That's very, very sad. And I need to wait until the weather is clear, so it's a 14 today, but they cannot go up because it's raining? This is just sad. Well, since I'm down here, I'm gonna gather some osmium kills before going back up. What is this? Ah, a visitor. Wait, what? Take gift? You've received a fossil load from Shrimpy. Hi, Shrimpy. What, Shrimpy? <laughs> that is so cute. Also, it looks like I'm in the gold kelp area still. I can talk to them now. We don't have any scales. I could, I could talk to the sea creatures. That's awesome. I think I need to catch some critters here before 6 p.m. heats. So there's still one sea creature that I haven't caught in gold, silver, and bronze areas. Wait, did I catch that insect? No, I didn't. I just left it. <laughs> also, critter, not insect. I think it would be beneficial if I just leave some critter traps. Wait, I cannot change screens. I cannot go to the crafting menu. Oh, wow, I cannot. Okay, then. I wanted to craft some critter traps. So I can just passively collect the critters that I needed, but it seems like I cannot craft right now. Oh, I'm gonna try something. What if I left the water? Let's leave the water for now. Oh, I really cannot. Wait, what was that? Oh, this one worked. Okay, Q and R is working. That's good. Let's craft some crawler traps. I can craft a few. Oh, I don't have any space. I also want to see if I can buy animals now, new animals. I got distracted. I was sorting out my inventory before going back to the ocean to put some crawler traps in, but I remembered animals. Well, this is important, so it's okay. Let's buy a llama first. Because this one produces every four days. Oh, it's a twin. Okay, I'm gonna name you B1 and B2. That's why it costs 30,000. The Luwak, I still need more money for this. But I should be able to buy one soon. Now I can continue sorting my inventory and then we can go back to the ocean. I still have some leftover osmium quality ones from that quest. I didn't use it all up. That's good. I'm going to craft two for each level. So two for gold, two for silver, and two for bronze. I don't have a lot of seaweeds left. 
I will place two on each level. Then see if we can catch the items or the crawlers that I still need. And that's it. I'm still not over the fact that I need to wait until summer for the next part of that quest. I guess we're gonna do this quest first then. Oh, I forgot to claim the gold axe. Oh well. So currently it's 4.20 p.m. I think I'm just gonna continue getting some osmium kelp, but I need lots of that for automation chests. I think it was a pretty productive day and I got 125 osmium kelps from this trip. That's very good. Now I have a lot of items to process in my dehydrators. <laughs> I don't think I need to craft more since when I don't go diving, it becomes empty anyways. Let's quickly check my strawberries here. I have some strawberry juice. No wine yet. But I can always sell this as it is. But I want to process into wine. Maybe I should have added more aging barrels there. I need osmium bars for it. I have 8 now, but I'll just continuously process more. I earned 20k today. And that's the end of the second week. On the next episode, I hope I can explore more in the savanna. I know I unlocked the bridge over there, but there's like a boulder up here that I haven't managed to remove yet. So I'm gonna aim to remove that on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all on the next one. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps the channel a lot.